Hello, whole high school. Welcome back after your first week from break. Today is our January 7, 2022 announcements. Just a reminder, next week is exam week. This will be the last week of first semester. We'll be officially halfway through the school year. Monday and Tuesday is our normal schedule with Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday half days uh, for exams. Uh, we do two exams a day with first and second hour on Wednesday, third and fourth on Thursday, fifth and sixth on Friday. There is a 10 minute nutrition break in between each exam with dismissal starting at 11.10. Please make sure you plan accordingly and study for those exams. The exam week schedule, just a reminder, some of the policies. You will not be able to have your electronic devices out whatsoever during testing or during the class time. Please make sure that those are put away, silenced, and um, that you don't use those whatsoever. Uh, students will remain in class until the bell rings. There will be no locker passes, bathroom passes, or any passes issued during the exam time. Please plan accordingly. Uh, students should not be in the hall for any reasons during those exam days, except during passing times. Uh, just a reminder, no school on Monday, January 27th, as we observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day and appreciate all the things that he has done to help uh, support equity uh, and inclusion uh, in our society. Second semester then begins on January 18th. Please make sure you check your schedules inside of PowerSchool and use the Google form to contact your counselors if you have any questions or concerns about your second semester schedule. Uh, GSA will be meeting. The meeting has been moved to Fridays in Mr. Runyon's room, South 118 from 245 until 345. Please plan accordingly if you are going to be joining GSA. Cap and gown, just a reminder, senior, you should have got an email from me this week. If you forgot to order your cap and gown, you need to order that by January 31st from Herf Jones. Um, there are new cap and gown colors this year, and so every single senior planning efforts to be in graduation will need to order their cap and gown. And now it's time for our students of the week, our freshman student of the week, Delilah and I zingle with, sorry if I mispronounced your name, uh, was nominated by Mr. Runyon. I am impressed with her dedication and understanding of the learning process. Congratulations. Sophomore student of the week is Asia Crawford, nominated by Miss Gibbs. Asia is always on top of everything. She is a great communicator. She asks questions to learn more about what we are studying, and she always takes every opportunity to do her very best. Congratulations. Junior Student of the Week, Bethany Schaltman. She was nominated by Mrs. Hayes Murray. Bethany is a hardworking student. I am always in awe of the thoughtfulness she puts in to her assignments. She is a gifted writer a deep thinker, and a truly unique and accepting individual. Congratulations. Senior Student of the Week, Camden Kuhn, was nominated by Miss Rosendahl and Mrs. Irvine. Miss Rosendahl says, Camden has a great attitude and strong work ethic. She works well collaborating as a joy to work with. Mrs. Irvine said, Camden consistently shows kindness to other students in her classes and takes care of things without being asked. Congratulations, Camden Kuhn. Our staff members of the week, Ms. Hallett was nominated by an anonymous student. This student said Ms. Hallett always pushes her students to stay on track in a healthy, positive way. She always finds ways to help us feel more comfortable and confident in getting work done. Our next staff member of the week, Ms. Moore, does works with our Edgenuity Lab students. She was nominated by a couple of anonymous students. They said, she consistently goes out of her way to build relationships with students while helping them be successful in their education. She's been an awesome help since the first day I walked into her class. She makes everyone feel comfortable and always motivates students to do their best. Congratulations, Ms. Moore. Our next staff member of the week, Mr. Trunk, was nominated by Cole Newman. Cole said he goes above and beyond to make ancient civilizations, which can be boring at times, a super fun and exciting class. Students have a great weekend. Make sure you're getting your study guides done for your final exams. The best process is to study for those long before. Uh, studying the night before is not always the best choice. So make sure you get some studying done. 
remember some things and be ready for your final exams next week. Have a great weekend. We'll see you. Go Holt Rams.